Welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal. I do DIYs, reviews, hauls, and much more. And, and I wanted to mention, if you like my beanie, I got this from Mila Ray. I have a video on them as well, uh, like a review video of them if you want to check them out. And I'm also wearing a small business um, that I'm purchasing from this Christmas. I will have a video talking about all those small businesses that I will be purchasing from for Christmas gifts and whatnot. So that video should be up already if you want to go see that as well. So for my stocking stuffers, I always do um, stockings for my girls. My husband too, I'll stick a few things here and there, but I normally go all out for my girls. So we are going to talk about their stockings. So if you want to see what I got for them, uh, please keep watching. So the main two stores that I shopped for uh, this year for their stocking stuffers were the Dollar Tree and Target. So I'm going to jump into Dollar Tree things first. I also want to mention if my stocking stuffers kind of overflow, I'll probably just stick them in their presents. So keep that in mind. So I got them the ceramic painting set and these are little penguins. And it looks like this one kind of broke, so I'm kind of sad with that. They look like that. They love, my my kids love doing arts and crafts. So I think they will enjoy that. If you didn't see my Dollar Tree Christmas goodies video, I did mention that I picked these up. Which I think is a freaking steal. It's awesome. There's shoes, there's accessories. So I found a bunch of them, so they're each going to get some. And again, if it doesn't fit, it will probably go in with their regular Christmas gifts. Hopefully you can still find these items too. Just these two were the other Barbie ones, super cute, a little chihuahua and a little kitty cat. This one looks like her little dog peanut. I got them some cute Crayola nail polish, which I'll help them use, and hopefully they're pretty good. If you've used these on your kids, can you let me know down below if they're really good and if they stay on their fingernails? Because every time I buy kids kind of um, nail polish, it always comes off pretty quickly. Which then they pick on, pick on them too, so that doesn't help either. I got them these cool looking crayons in pearl and pastel. I really love that the Dollar Tree carries Crayola items sometimes, and they're always unique and different. I've gotten them like um, metallic ones, glitter ones, so this year we're going with pearl and pastel. Out. Always pick up some chocolates and goodies from there, so they'll each get two. They do not get candy very often, um, so this will be a nice treat for them. The last item is this cute little set. I don't want to shake it, but they're two little Jingle Bell bracelets. So that's all the things from the Dollar Tree. This place is Target. So hopefully these are still available for you because I know Target Dollar Spot, Area, Bullseye Spot, you have to be pretty quick. Once it's out, you have to go and get it. So hopefully these items are still available for you. So first two things I picked up were these cute big old light up necklaces, which I might just give this to them ahead of time and not stick them in their stockings. But just in case they fit or whatever, I'll just stick them. We'll see. I don't know yet. And they're each going to get these cute pens. One in purple and one in pink. My oldest got a pen like this last year, I think, with the, her Frozen 2 like journal thing and my youngest will really like the pen so they're each going to get a pen um i don't know if these are still out but a while back they had the trolls world tour lip balm in a mango flavor they both love tiny diamonds so i each got them one 
Who else loves Tiny Diamond? Thumbs up if you love Tiny Diamond. They had these cute Trolls World Tour like nail stickers and it comes in a pack of three, which is awesome. They look like this. This was a freaking steal because I think this was like in the clearance area of their bullseye. So I got these really, really cheap. So hopefully you can still find them. Next, they're each getting hair ties, or we call them chongles in our house. <laughs> My daughter loves turquoise and pink, so they're each getting a set of chongles. Since they're always losing them, just like mama. I always get them like an activity coloring book. This is a Christmas one. I would normally get these because before COVID and all that, um, my husband and I um, tend to go to breweries and especially ones that are kid friendly. So I always would pack them like little activity books like this so they have something to do while Mama and Dada are enjoying themselves. <laughs> so yeah, but even though we're not um, going out because of COVID, I still decided to pick these up. And they're actually scented. This is like a vanilla scented, which I don't think it smells like vanilla, but... And this one is pine scented. I don't think it smells like pine. Anyways, so yeah, I'll pick those two up. Of course, gotta add some more goodies. I love sticking these in the stocking so that way they're kind of sticking out of the stocking. So, something that they can enjoy. I both got them hand sanitizers for their backpacks when they like visit Momo and Popo. That's the only time that they're pretty much out of the house. Without us is Momo and Popo's house and that's it because of COVID. Thank you COVID. So yeah, that's going to be for them so whenever they want to take their purse or backpack they have that available for them. This one was a little splurge, um, oh man, this is lip gloss. This one was not found in the bullseye spot. This was kind of like, you know, by the little Christmas area in the back of Target. Um, they had these lip smuckers, and I thought they were lip balms or chapstick, but they're actually lip gloss. So I don't know if I'm going to give this to them. I might hold off on this one. Um, just because I don't let them use lip gloss, but if you have an older kid who likes to use lip gloss, this would be a nice little uh, stocking stuffer. So, mine will have to wait. They are not old enough to use lip gloss. <laughs> um, next two items are these cute little bead sets, again in the dollar spot. I believe these were $3, not a dollar. I could be wrong. Um, but they look like this. One is a unicorn. They both love to make jewelry and work with beads. So this is a good option for a stocking stuffer. They're pretty small, so I think they'll fit pretty well in there. And last item I'm going to divide in half. Um, but they are the Crayola Bata Body Wash Pen Set. This was not in the bullseye area. This was, um, again, in the back of Target where all the Christmas stuff is. So, yeah, they will be getting this little set as well. And that is pretty much it for everything that I'm sticking in their stocking. I don't think I'm going to be adding any more things. And, yeah, that is all I will be sticking in their stockings. I hope this gives you an idea to help you um, decide what you want to give your little ones in their stocking. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you as a subscriber. Don't forget to hit that bell notification so that way you will be notified when my next um, video will be up. And until then, guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye!